Hello everyone, this is Running On Empty Food Review. Well, hello ladies, gentlemen, and everyone watching. Welcome one and all to this newest edition of the Running On Empty Food Review series. I'm your host, the Report of the Week. This is, this is a real game changer. It really is. I know that sometimes I will say that and I'll, you know, I'll be joking and I'll be exaggerating, you know, you know, really there's no, there's no actual change. Um, but this is fast food history in the making right here. No joke. No joke whatsoever. This is, this is history in the making. And people are going crazy over this. I mean, people, it, it's not like, it's just in pure elation because people really don't know how to comprehend this how to properly handle it, so you're seeing all sorts of, of interesting reactions at this news. Um, but let me tell you, this is really, this is huge, this is momentous. Taco Bell has introduced the Grande Crunch Wrap to their menu. But that's not just everything. This is actually the Triple Double Crunch Wrap which I've already reviewed four times, being brought back under a new name. And people don't know how to handle that bit of information. The Triple Double Crunch Wrap. Triple Double Crunch Wrap. But it's not the Triple Double Crunch Wrap anymore, it's the Grande Crunch Wrap. How crazy is that? I really, people don't know how to handle this though. I saw one video of some guy, he was destroying his computer, he just, you know, like short circuiting, just didn't know how to how to process it. I saw the other where there was some guy in the parking lot who was crawling through the parking lot like a worm over to Taco Bell. And uh, you're seeing all sorts of interesting stuff, let me tell you. But this is the Triple Double Crunch Wrap being reintroduced under a new name, which I actually think is a pretty smart marketing move, uh, quite frankly, because I think the Triple Double Crunch Wrap is an item that I personally have like a love-hate relationship with. And uh, I think other people do too, but it's one of those things that's been re-released so many times now that it's kind of, maybe the customer uh, base just looks at the name and they think that it's kind of old, the Triple Double Crunch Wrap, what is this, like the fifth time they've released it? So you change the name, it's the exact same thing, and uh, now everyone thinks it's something new. So that is a smart change in terms of uh, marketing strategy anyway. So what is the Grande Crunch Wrap? Uh, what this is, is you have two layers of seasoned beef, nacho cheese, in between the layers of the seasoned beef is a tostada shell, there's also lettuce, sour cream, tomatoes, it is available with the price of $3.49 by itself, it also comes as a $5 meal deal. Now, I reviewed this four times already, this is going to be the fifth time I've reviewed this, now you might say, come on, you're wasting, you're wasting your time, you're wasting my time. Uh, what does it matter if you're, you've already done this a bunch of times, so what's the point? This is why I re-review things uh, when it comes down to these releases. Over time, as we know, sometimes recipes change, sometimes ingredients change, sometimes the quality, even over a few short years, of various fast food establishment, establishments can either go up or it can just fall off a cliff. And uh, that's why it's important to kind of try out these new things well, once they're made new again, um, because there's always that variability that needs to be taken into account. The one that I reviewed back in 2016 might be very different from the one here in 2021. Um, but for perspective, and then we'll get into it and try it out, uh, here are the ratings that I gave this item in the past. In 2016, I reviewed it, and I was like, eh, it's all right. I gave it a 7 out of 10. In 2017... I really liked what I saw, and uh, I don't know if it was just that good or if I was drinking too much Baja Blast, but I gave it a 9 out of 10. Then in 2018, I gave it a 6.5, and in 2019, which is the last time uh, that they released it, I gave it a 7 out of 10. So we're going to see now, it's been not quite two years, but close to it, uh, so that's another reason. Two years have passed, and uh, let's see how it is now. Order ahead for contactless pickup, and it is sealed for me. Got some napkins. 
Let's just upend the whole thing, why not? Let's do it the Taco Bell way. I got it with some fire sauce, by the way, but why not? And this, they call this the blessed pouch. So we're gonna take it out of the pouch. Looks like it's decent sized, I'll say that. Get a close up view of it here. All right, there it is right there. Um, I'll get a thumbnail like this for the video. You know, going with the serious and the, the happy one. But you can see, I mean, it does look like it certainly has some decent size to it. I'll, I'll say that, definitely feeling some weight here. So again, this is exactly the same thing as the Triple Double Crunch Wrap. It's just under a new name, the Grande uh, Crunch Wrap. Indeed, it is named actually after Ariana Grande. <laughs> You've given that joke so many times. Um, but nonetheless, you know what's in it. I know what's in it. We all know what's in it. I'm going to try it out and I'll let you know what it tastes like. The Grande Crunch Wrap from Taco Bell going in. You can see just how it's teeming with beef. <laughs> Look at it, it's overflowing with it. Can, can you believe how much meat is in this? That's sarcasm, by the way. You know, this is, let me tell you, in terms of what it tastes like, I don't really have any complaints. Um, it doesn't taste bad, but granted, and this is gonna spark some, probably some mixed reactions, but, Taco Bell did it again, where you can see the issues with the distribution right there. The whole selling point of this item is for it to have two layers of beef, and there certainly is almost none in here. Um, in all the bites that I took, I think there was really one solid bite where there was any seasoned beef. So now I'm going to just take a bite from this end. Okay. A little better over here. I've never minded the triple double crunch wrap in terms of what it tastes like. I've honestly never really had a problem. I like the seasoned beef. The thing that I liked about it the best was that there was that extra seasoned beef on it. You are able to get more of that meaty flavor, and it's like you're finally getting a taco of sorts. You know, it's a crunch wrap, you know what I mean now. Um, with finally the portion of beef that you wish it always had to begin with. I always liked also the little Tostita shell, or is it the Tostada shell? I want to get this right. The Tostada shell, there we go that added a little bit of crunch to it as well, hence the name Crunch Wrap, you know, where now it's the, the, you know, the Grande Crunch Wrap. But I just always liked that balance that it had. I liked the sour cream, you know? I liked that there was the lettuce and the tomato in it too, which uh, had a nice little balance as well, and it just, it, it was just a nice item. And I think it still tastes good, um, but the problem that you have to remember, and this is just, I think, a universal issue when it comes down to Taco Bell, 
for an item like this to be good, and for an item like this to taste good, because this is something that right now by itself, there are no flavors that taste bad here. There's nothing out here that tells me, oh, this is awful, I'm gagging this up, it tastes terrible. No, it doesn't. Um, I think it tastes good, actually, and I'm happy with it. But the problem is, and this is classic Taco Bell, like I've said, everything comes down to preparation. If you go to your Taco Bell, and the individual who makes this follows the instructions and does a good job and balances it out nice and everything, uh, it's going to be great, and you're going to find it really enjoyable. If this is made incorrectly, or let's say it's just not properly leveled out, and you wind up with the one like I got, where half of it has absolutely no beef whatsoever, and the other half uh, does, that's a problem. You know, that's a serious issue, and it's going to hinder your enjoyment of the Crunchwrap. In order for this to be good, gotta be even. Otherwise, you're gonna bite into it, like I did, and you're gonna have an empty bite, filled with nacho cheese, no beef, no tomatoes, nothing. And all the tomatoes are gonna be over here, and all the beef is gonna be here, and there's gonna be absolutely nothing here. And half of it's gonna be great, half of it's gonna be too much of this or too little of that, and you're gonna sit there wondering what the heck you wasted your money on. That's the problem. So, factoring that in, it's good if it's made right, and if everything is, like I said, leveled out and evened out, um, but you're taking a risk here. I'll give this item, in my case, because it's really hard. Let me explain why I'm having trouble with the rating right here. Part of me wants to rate the item like a 2 out of 10, because half of it is absolutely nothing and the other half is great, but to say that and act like every other crunch wrap out there is going to be like this and so lopsided like how mine was, um, that's not fair to do. Plus, mine still tasted good. So, I'm going to give this, I'm just going to stick to the trend that I had been, and I'm going to give it a 7 out of 10. You have to factor in the variability, though, and just understand that your mileage may vary. If they do a good job, it's going to be great, and this still tastes good. But you know, you know that you might not get what you hoped. And that's all that I can say. And this goes for almost every single item on the Taco Bell menu these days. I'm going to add a little bit of fire sauce for the fun of it. I'm not surprised. A little disappointed. You know, but not surprised. I had a feeling this is what I was going to get. Mm. Fire sauce works well. Can't complain there. It's just, it's a good item. I think I've said for like the 50th time now. It's a decent item. It tastes okay. It's just when these get made, these variances occur that can really, it could either greatly improve or greatly hinder the uh, eating experience, and you don't know what you're going to get. So, Bear that in mind, understand the risks involved, and all of that. I still recommend you try it out. You're getting a decent portion of food at a decent price, so uh, there you have it. But you kind of saw it for what it is. You saw how there's those variances, and that's all that I have for you. Thank you for watching. Take care. I'm your host, The Report of the Week.